Welcome. Today's topic is General Educational Implications of Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development. The educational implication of Piaget's theory of cognitive development were applied by the educationists in the field of teaching and learning. Within the classroom, learning should be student-centered and accomplished through active discovery learning. The role of the teacher is to facilitate learning, rather than direct tuition. Therefore, teachers should encourage the following within the classroom, focus on the process of learning, rather than the end product of it. Using active methods that require rediscovering or reconstructing truth. Using collaborative, as well as individual activities, so children can learn from each other. Devising situations that present useful problems, and create disequilibrium in the child. Evaluate the level of the child's development so suitable tasks can be set. Recognition of the crucial role of self-involvement in learning activities by the learners. Emphasis on practices aimed at making children think like adults. Acceptance of individual differences in developmental process. Some of the implications are as follows. It provides a broad development perspective to the educator for building a curriculum for the children. The description of developmental stages and qualitative aspects of intellectual growth is useful in providing suitable educational practices. The cognitive theory states that the child has to be actively involved in the teaching learning process for his or her intellectual growth. The based curriculum requires that children should not skip any stage. The preschool child is at the pre-operational level. The educational program at this stage should provide concrete operations. An educational program should enable the child to integrate the information. A child should be helped to develop internal consistency of the system. Most of the activities of the peers A type require simple equipment and material. Drilling in skills is to be avoided. Teaching learning situation should be geared to a point where the child is neither too familiar nor too unfamiliar with the objects and ideas. Variety of cognitive activities such as storytelling, rhymes and so on are included in the program in a systematic manner. There is a deliberate Attention of developing cognitive growth, a child's development is retarded if he is not allowed a fairly wide sensory and motor experience in his early years. Real events and concrete objects play an important role in learning. In science and mathematics, learning from physical environment is more important than what is learned from people, books or television. A teacher should arouse curiosity of the child through planned activities. First aid for dogs.